My name is Tej Jirel. I am the General Secretary of Nepal Bible Society. I joined the Bible Society in December 2003 and I oversee the overall work of the Nepal Bible Society. The recent earthquakes killed about 9,000 people and it injured more than 22,000 people uh, throughout the affected districts. We praise God that uh, except for <clears throat> some of my staff, we are all safe and sound emotionally. And uh, my family members are also in the same state, you know. Uh, but uh, in terms of physical loss, like, uh, you know, a collapsing of our houses, uh, you know, and some damages done to the Bible Society building and walls, uh, those are the some uh, uh, damages physically done to the Bible Society and our staff members. But emotionally, we praise God that we are safe and sound. Uh, we are ready to, you know, do some more works uh, to the people who are in need now. So we thank God we are all okay. Personally, after the uh, quakes of 25th and 26th of April, I visited two places, including my hometown, which is called Jiri, which is located about 200 kilometers east uh, to uh, Kathmandu, the capital city. And I also visited Sindhu Palchuk, which is the epicenter, which is the district of the second earthquake, epicenter of the second earthquake. So uh, when I visited those places, you know, on the way, uh, I saw the houses all in rubbles, you know. Uh, it looks like, a, you know, a pile of muds or rocks, <clears throat> nothing is left. And uh, people were, you know, people were under, you know, the plastic sheet and, you know, their tarpaulins and very few people had a, a, a chance to acquire a tent, a proper, proper tent to save them, uh, themselves from, uh, you know, the rain and, uh, you know, wind, wind and everything. And uh, people were, you know, Many people were very sad because they lost their, uh, you know, their houses and domestic uh, animals, along with uh, people. Uh, many domestic animals were also killed. And uh, in up in the mountains and uh, you know hilly regions, there were some uh, avalanches and landslides that also killed, uh, you know, peop uh, the animals and, uh, in the field also. And uh, I just would like to remember one story of a, a family of a pastor I met <coughs> in Sindhu, uh, Sindhu Palchuk uh, district. Um, we, the Nepal Bible Society, had uh, programs, two programs at its church two years ago. And it was a, it was a very nice building. And uh, I was really, uh, you know, sort of uh, sad and also shocked to see that the whole church was, you know, it was just turned into rubbles. Nothing was there. And uh, when I approached there, the pastor and his family were eating, you know, uh, like a very, uh, what do you call the fast food. They didn't have time, they didn't have, you know, they didn't have place to cook uh, proper food and uh, they didn't have uh, anything uh, like rice and lentils and uh, they were just there on the, you know, in a field and they were eating this <coughs> dry food and actually he's got um, uh, triplets, you know, he's got uh, uh, five children. When I arrived there and that of seeing the condition of that pastor's family, I was I just went there and uh, I spoke to them and uh, the very touching part was that he has got triplets. 
I think they are about 18 or 19 months uh, and uh, the mother has to feed them. Uh, they don't, because their house was collapsed, the church was collapsed, uh, no proper food to eat and I felt very sorry for that mother, <clears throat> you know, she had to feed three, three children. I interviewed uh, one of the elderly persons at that church who was pulled out from the rubble. You know, uh, <clears throat> Uh, hearing his story, I was personally very encouraged and uh, I've also have a video clip of that uh, person and uh, he said that, you know, he said that he had a faith in Jesus that whatever happens to him, the Lord Jesus will save him and actually, you know, uh, he was saved. Uh, he, was, he was buried under rubble but the church members were able to pull him out along with some other um, uh, some other church members <clears throat> and uh, his summary was um, if you have great faith in God he will do great things for you that is very very nice <laughs> two or three items for prayer uh, to free for the you know wisdom of the Holy Spirit upon me and my team and also upon the board members and also the uh, leaders of churches in Nepal so that uh, they can continue to help other people in God's love, in honesty, you know, in transparency. And also please pray, the, please pray for the safety of my team and myself as we uh, move along for the relief uh, relief mission or relief uh, works. Uh, it's dangerous because it's the monsoon in Nepal now and roads are not in that good condition and it's a possibility of, you know, landslides and, you know, uh, please uh, pray for uh, the safety of my team and uh, myself.